Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the best players in each position, not really any type of budget restriction. Um, in this video, I'm not going to be talking about the Cruyffs and the Pele's. Obviously, you guys know those players are crazy. Mainly, the emphasis is still going to be on golds. We've got a couple team in the weeks. we got a couple promo. We have one promo team. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about best players in each position. I did a video on this like a week or two ago uh, with 100k maximum. Like, So I was like talking about players that we weren't going over that budget. But obviously, now the market has gone up a little bit. And uh, there's also a lot of players in that video that I wanted to mention that I was not able to mention. So if you enjoy the video today... Drop a thumbs up, guys. Um, as always, we're trying to do the best possible content on this channel. And um, yeah, basically the way the video will work is uh, I've got some designated players that I want to point out. There's probably going to be a few that I always forget. And let me know in the comments down below who you guys are enjoying the most. I'm going to be giving a couple options too, like a couple levels of you know certain budgets. Obviously, we're unrestricted budget with this video. Um, so yeah, there's two cards I would say personally uh, so far that just have been absolutely destroying me. Now... These cards are evolution cards. So just to start off the video, Darwin's evolution card is freaking unbelievable. Bro is literally a jam god. So if you haven't done an evolution for the striker, Darwin is a really good option. And then Ansu Fati. I just wanted to mention two evolutions that I feel like genuinely are crazy. Fati can go all the way up to an 85 if you do the... I think it's the welcomed evolutions one first. You do that plus one, then you can do the double, the double boost um, with the relentless winger. He is absolutely insane. His R1 dribbling is literally so broken. And I wanted to start this video with the attackers this time around um, because we always start with the the goalkeepers. So Griezmann um, is just over 100k. He actually was in the other video. He is genuinely sensational this year. I picked him up for 90K. Uh, I've been using him for like a week or two. He is so freaking good for the price. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, the, the reason why Griezmann is so good is that he's got the amazing R1 dribbling, the good left stick dribbling. He's got the finesse shot plus trait. That trait this year is so freaking good. Um, he just finesses top corner. 90 finishing with the card as well. He got that huge pace boost. And this card overall, I think this card got a plus five this year. So he got a massive, massive boost this year. Um, player that is definitely more than the price, uh, Sun Inform. Oh my God, is this card good? Same thing, right? Finesse Shot Plus uh, has the broken shooting. Um, Sun is just so good this year. Um, good passing, good dribbling, good holdup. I feel like up top this year, something that's really underrated is having that strength sometimes. So I feel like Sun with his body type this year definitely can offer you that. Uh, Sun is definitely somebody that we're going to continue to mention in these videos. Um, obviously, you can see we're kind of we're kind of working our way up a little bit here in budget, although we are going to go backwards just for a sec because I did forget about somebody that I really like for the price, and that would be Rafa Leao. I think if you have a Serie A team, he's a must-pick up. Um, he's rumored to have a team of the week this week. I picked him up for 140. He's at like 160 now, so he's really starting to go up. Uh, you could play him left side or striker or center forward. 29 goals for me in 21 games. The reason Rafa is so good, he's got the jam, he's got the 80 strength, his finishing is good, and he's really fast. So really, really nice to create space, definitely up top. Um, one of my favorite cards to use this year. I think Rafa Leao is absolutely perfect to use. Um, and then another gold striker, um, at least we're talking about males right now. We have a couple females we will be mentioning, but Rashford, Rashford can play striker. Rashford's got this absolutely broken trait this year. Um, and that trait is the power shot plus this trait. He just rifles the shots, man rifles. So R Rashford really offers you that. Um, that's a really nice part about his card. He performs power shots much faster with a significant increase in speed. Um, yeah, Rashford really, really, really is good. I mean, I, I, I don't love three star weak foot, but he does have five star skills and I played against him the other day and this guy literally banged one at the worst angle on his left foot. So I'm starting to also feel like some of these players with high shot power, good shooting traits, the weak foot doesn't really matter. I've had the same experience where Griezmann was scoring a finesse on his right foot and it made no sense. So I'm starting to wonder, okay, you know, are those weak foots really that bad? I don't really know. Now, for two other cheaper options before we go to the, the really expensive option, Benzema, I think, has been so slept on this year. He's about 40K. I picked him up a couple of weeks ago. I still I still have held on to him because he's been so OP for me. I had him in my kind of... I was starting him with Gucci before, and now I've kind of got him off the bench. But 23 goals for me in 15 games. Four-star, four-star. Stats are overall pretty good. The finishing is top tier. That's the thing I'll say with Benzema. If you hold L2, you shield. He's got the strength to get you uh, that hold up. And if you could just find that shot angle, he's going to put in the back of the net. Benzema is so, so freaking good for that. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously I packed him 
uh, yesterday. I love him. I think he's really good. I mean, I don't think he's a starter, but off the bench, I think he's an amazing holdup striker. His shooting is so good. Um, Ronaldo still has those animations. He still has that jam. And then for that top tier male option, it's going to be Mbappe. We're not going to be talking too much about icons because if I talk a lot about the icons, guys, it's going to literally take this video to 40 minutes. Mbappe will do a specific video on icons. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Mbappe is the best player in the game currently out of any card, I would say. Like, I'll take this guy over Mia Ham. I'll take this guy over R9. Mbappe is just him. He is so OP in this game. 94 finishing with 97 acceleration and 93 agility. How do you stop this card? Does anybody know? Because I have no idea. How do you stop this card? I don't know. I don't know how you stop Mbappe. I think it's impossible. So, for the male side of things, that's what I would say. We've got a couple of options for the female uh, strikers that I really like. Oshala, very, very, very good. Four-star, four-star, elite finishing. L look at this. 92 acceleration, 90 finishing with 92 strength. That is top tier. 90 jumping as well and uh, 91 agility. And then uh, La Liga, we're going to stay. We're going to actually stay in La Liga. Um, this is another really cheap option, but definitely she's rumored to get a team of the week this week as well. I believe she had a hat trick over the weekend. She's got five-star weak foot. Five for week for 91 strength, 85 finishing, 91 acceleration. Absolutely mental team. Very, 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 sorry, mental stats. Absolutely mental stats, mental card. Um, and uh, yeah, then we move on a little bit. You've got two other options that I think for the women, very, very nice. Three, actually. So Alex Morgan, one of them. Um, not the fastest, but 94 finishing with a five-star weak foot. Does not miss. 94 finishing. I've played against her. She doesn't miss doesn't miss and some of the, the women have these lower dribbling stats i don't really seem like it matters too much you know she's got 67 bounce i've used some of these cards and they don't feel like they have bad dribbling so alex morgan definitely uh would recommend very 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 good and then we've got uh we've got sophia smith uh i i was able to use her in a draft she's got a five-star weak foot right so i used her at left forward she's got very good dribbling 91 ball control 89 reactions 88 finishing uh 93 sprint speed so those are some def definitely crazy stats. 93 stam as well, 82 strength. Very good card. Um, a little bit more expensive. Sophia Smith is like about 200K, so definitely going to set you back a little bit more. And uh, other player that I love is Diani. Oh, my God. Diani is probably my favorite out of all of the players I've just mentioned. Um, she can play striker. She's a right, right wing, technically. 90 finishing, 90 sprint speed, 84 strength, 89 agility. So good. So good. I've had the opportunity to use her in draft. She is elite. She's very, very, very good. So those attackers are definitely my favorites. Um, the attackers is, was definitely going to be the, the the time we spent the most on. Those are the players, though, in the attack that I think at striker, unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Okay, now, this is where I'm going to start to forget players. I've probably already forgot a couple players, but for me, we've got to keep it a little bit shorter here. We don't want to go too long. We're already going very long. We're waffling a lot here. Now, Let's go to let's go to goalkeepers. Let's switch it up a bit. So for me, there's a couple goalkeepers that are really top tier. Courtois is one of them. Courtois is absolutely unbelievable this year. Um, definitely worth the price. Pope, incredible. Pope is also incredible. Pope is top, 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 top tier. Pope. Um, so I really, really rate him. I think he is very good. And then it, any icon keeper this year for me, guys, is top tier. I have had. A couple of these icons in and out of my team. I just sold Schmeichel today. All of these icons, in my opinion, this year are very good. The The ratings this year seem to really, really add up and matter. All icons are good. I've tried Yashin, I think. I've tried... No, I haven't tried Yashin. I've only tried Schmeichel, but everyone I've played against has been very good. So, icons this year, definitely worth it to get um, in the goalkeeper position. I think for the sake of the video, we'll just go with Courtois. Let's mention a couple center backs now that we really like. Um, the number one center back I have played against has been Van Dyke. His VVD is just, he has the craziest aura you have ever seen, bro. This guy, oh my God, man, you are in the, the area of where he is and you lose the ball. He is, he, he genuinely, he's, he is that good. Um, couple of the center backs that are very good. Edder Militao, top, top tier. Uh, this center back is going to give you a little bit of a different situation than VVD. Um, he's going to give you a little bit better on the ball, a little bit better side to side movement, probably less bully feel, but way more reactive. So for you that like to, you know, aggressively defend, Militao might be your guy. To be honest, he might be your guy. A um, lot of really good La Liga center backs this year. Rudy is another one that I would say I think really good. 
really, 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 really good. Um, can't go wrong with him. All of these center backs have these unique traits this year, too. Um, they definitely make them super OP. Kunde, very good. I really rate Kunde. I think he is top tier as well. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple cheaper options, too, you know. Uh, you start to go 100k or less. Varane, very good. Um, Varane, you cannot go wrong with him. I mean, center backs this year, the options, guys, are insane. I do notice quite a difference, though, when you go from that tier of Guardiol to Saliba to, to Varane to VVD. These top-tier center backs, and I would put Saliba in that category. I just recently tried him. He is absolutely crazy. When you, when you jump up to this tier, they do become way better. I don't know what it is. But they are way better. Saliba, I have been absolutely loving this year. I think he is sensational. Um, Araujo, really, 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 really good too. Um, bro probably has the longest legs in FIFA, if we're going to be quite honest here. Um, and other than that, I mean, other center backs that are really crazy. I mean, those are the ones that are, that are coming to the top of my mind. I mean, for the Prem, for me, it's VVD, Saliba, Varane. La Liga is just so popular for the center backs this year too. You even could say Haliba. Um, you know, potentially there. Bundesliga has some nice options too. If you want to go cheap, like Schlotterbeck, City, ah, you know, you've got Bremer, um, you've got Tomori. Tomori's definitely in the top tier. I haven't seen a lot of people using Tomori this year. I will say that. I, I would still always put Tomori in the top tier because of his pace, but I haven't really seen a lot of people using Tomori this year. It's interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. It's not been as used as previous years. Um, left back, there's not too many. I think there's like two or three that are just so top tier. Um, Teo Hernandez, in my opinion, is the best left back in FIFA. You've got Davies. You've got Ferlin Mendy. Somebody I will say that I think at the left back position really has surprised me. A lot of people are using them in the FC Pro Open. Balde. 3,000 coins. Weak, right? 50 strength or something, bro. He is crazy. For that price, he's actually insane. So I would say Teo Davies are my top two, though, to go with. You don't need to splurge on a icon of uh icon um fullback there's no need um let's just keep the video rolling we're gonna go to right back i think kyle walker by far is the best right back um you've got a couple options at right back too walker definitely the best though um yorente i listen i i don't love yorente i think yorente i think he's better in the midfield so i have not loved yorente um at the right back you could also go with di lorenzo um lawrence on chelsea is decent um, Cancelo in form. If you're going to go Cancelo, he's a left back. You can also play right back. Cancelo in form. And then Hakimi and Dodo. Those are the other two options, I would say. Dodo is a very, very good card. He's got some of the best dribbling you can get from a fullback in FIFA. And I think dribbling is so important this year. On the wing, the R1 dribbling, it's very, very top tier important. Hakimi, very good as well. Hakimi rarely gets beat for pace. Just a little bit weaker. Walker, I think Walker is always going to be the favorite. Um, even as an 84, because Walker has that physical, he's got that strength and he's got that bully feel. So when you do face up against, um, you know, the Mbappes of the, of the game, Walker is a huge deal to have, right? He's not going to get bodied in that situation, which is very important, right? It's very important. You do not want to be getting bodied by, uh, by Mbappe. So that's going to be the back line. We've, we've said what we've needed to we said what we've needed to say. I feel like the right mid position is really weird this year. Um, I don't really personally feel like there is a lot of right wings slash right mids. Now, Hansen, Hansen, this is what I've been waiting for. Hansen for the no budget video, by far, um, by far, this she could arguably be the best player in the game right now. She has the finesse shot play style. She is worth every coin you will spend on the market. I've used her in a foot draft. She's unbelievably good. Um, and every pro is using this card. Every single pro is using Hansen in their team. So just for the record, um, Hansen top, top tier. And uh, other right wings right away. I mean, that's Saka. Salah's amazing. This Salah this year is very good. The only downside with him is they're going to be the weak foot passes. But this card, very, very, very good. Um, you guys know the icons. But Saka as well with the 4-4. This upgraded Saka I think is sensational. I really like this card. I think this is going to be a really good card this year. Haven't played against them, but he's got the acceleration. He's got the dribbling. He's got the 87 finishing. So there's a lot that I like here with this Saka card. I think very good. Tiani, we already mentioned. Um, Dembele is very good too. Dembele, a lot of the pros have. Five-star, five-star. I just never personally get along with Dembele. 300K for me too is also extremely steep. So Dembele is 300K. Still a very top-tier player. Five-star, five-star. You cannot go wrong. Um, and then, you know, this is the interesting part. Rodrigo, I would say, is well very good. But... You've got a couple of these female uh, right wings that are amazing, bro. So Rodman with the 4-4 and the 94 pace, cheaper option. Cascarino, two-star weak foot, but very, very fast. Crazy dribbling, 93 agility, 92 bounce. Kelly, amazing. 
Um, and then Kudus SBC, right? Expensive SBC. I personally haven't completed it. He's very good. Kudus is very good. Rafinha is very decent as well. A lot of a lot of La Liga teams are running Rafinha. I have seen, and for the wide position, he's definitely good enough. Um, so that's what I would say out at that at the right wing position. Other than that, I don't think any. I don't think there's any players that can only play right mid. Diaby, we forgot Diaby. We did forget Diaby. I, I would say probably not Sane anymore, but we did forget Diaby. So Diaby, you cannot go wrong. Run down the line, R1 dribbling. <laughs> Diaby is what you need. Now, let's start in the center mids. Llorente, he's about 20, 30K. If you watch this video, you're not a person that spends their life savings on this game. Get Llorente. He's very good. He's very comparable to the top tier options in this game. You're not going to go wrong with him. He's very good for the price. Um, other midfielders, Putelis is probably the best midfielder. Um, in terms of what she offers, five star, five star. Look at these stats. I mean, the Spanish Zidane, but the dribbling is just there's no there's no problems even with the dribbling. So for a box to box, Putellis is definitely my um my like uh, advice. I mean, she's only I think she's like seven or eight hundred k. She's very expensive, but you've got Atana Bonmati. She is excellent as well. One thing in common with all these Spanish La Liga female midfielders, their dribbling and shooting is just crazy, right? 91 finishing, 93 agility, five-star weak foot, high, high, crazy, crazy cards, crazy cards. Um, Debinha, Debinha is more of a cam, but five-star, five-star. Debinha is one of the best dribblers in the game. Five-star, five-star, five foot one, five foot one, crazy. Patri, a little bit of a cheaper option if you want to run, um, you know, a cheaper version of Putellis or Etana, you go with Patri, right? Four-star, four-star in the 50K range. Very nice for that price. Um, Valverde, most pros using Valverde in their teams right now. Valverde is a very top-tier pro option right now at the moment. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, other players in the midfield, definitely to kind of go over. De Jong for a cheaper option, 60,000 coins, very good. De Bruyne flashback, De Bruyne gold, really can't go wrong. I would say not Conte gold, but I would say Conte's in form. Is very, very top tier. You've got Musiala at the cam roll. Very good this year. Five-star skills. R1 dribbling of dreams. I would definitely include Tenali in there, although he's a bit weak. Tenali's very good. I'd probably still prefer a Jude Bellingham over Tenali for some reason, even though Tenali's stats are better. Jude just has those traits. I don't know, man. Jude just has it, right? She is very good. Grace, a lot of people using Mbappe are also using this card for the link. She's very good. Three-star, three-star. Um, you really can't go wrong. Now we're starting to get a lot lower in the ratings here. Goretzka, every year very good. Um, can't go wrong with Goretzka. Really starting to move down here in the ratings, though. I think there's definitely one or two other players here. Rabiot. Always like re mentioning Rabiot. Always like him. Good animations. Lengthy. Um, very solid for the price. Always can't go wrong. A lot of pros also been using Dunn. Dunn is very good. Very underrated card. Really all around, like, well-rounded card. So... I think for the price, too. I, I mean, the last time I checked, I don't even know what, what Dunn's price is. But very, very, very affordable option. Dunn is 8500 So I think she definitely deserves to be in this video. And then we'll go over to the uh, the left-sided players. And we probably forgot 100 players in this video. But these are just the players in draft and uh, rivals, foot champs, pro open that I've seen that are the best. Now, Vinny and Neymar, hands down, the best left-sided players in this game. Vinny, actually, in my opinion, this year is better than Neymar. For the out wide position, Vinny is so crazy. I swear, I think they, I think his height is like, like plus five inches or something. This year, I don't even understand, bro. Crazy. Eighty nine finishing for him. Ninety five pace. Ninety four agility. He's got uh, quick step play style. Neymar is a joke as well. You can play him on zero. Neymar is just so good. Feels amazing this year to use. Uh, Son, we mentioned in the middle. I think Raiten, I haven't really seen too many people use her, but she's got the three star weak foot, which is a little bit of a problem. But she's got insane dribbling. Swanson. Um, has the five-star weak foot, very OP option for the female uh, side of things on this game. Very good, very good. Now, also, Kvar with the 5-5, five -five, huge fan of that. Probably want to swap in the game and play him central. Um, is probably what I would recommend. Martinelli's decent. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to round up the left-sided players. The only other player that I would mention that is probably always going to be in these videos is St. Max. I don't know where St. Max is, but I don't even know what rating he is, but... I would definitely say St. Max always is a player that I would say out wide you don't want to miss out on. And yeah, I don't want to spend too much time doing icons and stuff like that. Oh, we didn't look at left mids. We only looked at left. Ooh, wait a sec. But yeah, Gucci, obviously, for the price too. Out wide, perfect. Um, and then, uh, yeah, left wings. No, no, we didn't look at left mids. Sorry. Sleepy day today for me. Uh, no, that was it. Just Chiesa. Really just Chiesa then. 
Yeah, Chiesa is also very good. For the Serie A teams, he's almost a must, I would say. Chiesa is so fast this year. Goodness, he's so fast. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.